Hey everyone, today is going to be a little bit unusual video where I'm talking about light. So if you are epileptic of any kind, be very careful watching this video because it will have some strobing stuff that I will try to fix after. So let's start. Okay, so to show you the problem, I have here a uh, workbench in my office with LED strip installed for overhead shots that I need sometimes. And well, I use a warm light here. The main reason is because if I switch it to a cold light, it will strobe as f You see? Warm light is not strobing. And it's always different. For different lights, it is different. For this one, for example, the warm light is not strobing, but other kind of lights are strobing. So I need to find something better. So okay, everything has started with a small personal project and it is still a small personal project. But anyway, I have a workbench here and over there and I needed to install some kind of an overhead light, which I have right now. It's just over my head and over there. So I got this contraption over here assembled together. It's basically three wooden planks joined together and ready to go. They are connected to that Costco shelf uh, behind my back. And the length of this thing is standard six foot long. So I thought, okay, six foot long should be enough for any kind of workshop light that I can find in Home Depot. So I went to Home Depot to check those lights. And talking about these lights, they are called Illumi 36 inch smart Wi-Fi RGB CCT LED linear under cabinet lights. And they are technically under cabinet lights. So if you buy them for your studio or for your workshop for anything, keep in mind that for overhead, you will be using a just temperature setting. If you decide to go with RGB, you will be using it as an accent light. The reason is simple. RGB is not as bright as the temperature LEDs. So it is what it is. It's not an ideal light, but it is still pretty amazing. I love it especially for the use case that I will show you a little bit later. And these lights are 1200 lumen bright and they can change temperature from 2700K uh, up to 6500K, which is a good range. RGB is coming as a bonus, as I can see, which is a good bonus because it doesn't strobe as well, but they are not as bright. So keep it in mind and well, let's continue the video. I spent there some time picking up that light. I bought some. Based on their brightness, I was not looking at either they strobe, either they film proof or anything like that because, well, this is my workshop. I didn't think I'm going to film here anything because if I need to film anything in my workshop, usually how it goes, I turn off my lights, I get my filming lights from elsewhere and I start filming with those proper lights because this way I am sure that nothing is strobing and nothing is ruining my footage, which is kind of cool when nothing is ruining anything. So when I installed them, I just figured out that they are, first of all, pretty bright. Second thing, they don't strobe and they don't strobe. Either they are warm, either they are cold, either they are RGB or anything, they just don't strobe. They are amazing. And I checked all shutter speeds, they just don't strobe, which makes them almost perfect cheap overhead lights. To test it out, I would suggest to wait until it gets darker and proceed from there. Okay, so it's dark now, 7 p.m. and everything is visible and nothing is strobing as you can see and it's working perfectly well everything is lit and the light because it's basically a light bar a very long one is very very soft and nice you almost have no any shadows so yeah if we go through the temperature settings from the most yellow to the least yellow which is the most white i guess well it is still not strobing everything is fine and because it's an rgb light it has some you know, color settings. You can go through red and green and blue and less red and less green and another blue. Orange. This is not green. Uh, a violet. Yellow. Pink. 
and another white which is not a proper white because if you want a good proper white you gotta go through the temperature settings and get to the most white you can get to which is this one I believe but anyway so if you want a proper white set it in the settings right yay rhyme okay just a quick remark because I I figured out that not too many people will understand what I'm talking about uh, I'm talking about the white balance and there is uh, such thing as a pure white point on your footage which is supposed to be always pure white and there is a pure black uh, point on your footage that's supposed to be pure black and you have everything in between and you always set your white balance accordingly to the conditions that you're shooting at. I hope it's not too difficult but anyway uh, let's get back to the video. Also it has an app but I didn't bother to install it and probably you shouldn't if you need just temperature settings or a good overhead light for regular shots. If you need to go with fancy shots though you can just you know either install the app or use the buttons. So basically for each light I have two switches this one and this one. This controls everything about light. Its brightness, its color, its temperature and well stuff like that. This is a regular light switch that turns off the light if I need to and turns on the light if I need to. You would ask why if I had that one. Well it is good to have one to set your settings. So for example if we want I don't know like an orange light right we like orange we're shooting something in orange and then we need to keep that light in orange and we need to turn it off we just turn it off and a good thing about it is that if we turn it on it will stay orange until you change it so if you want to keep it orange or whatever color you prefer you can do that and then turn it off and then come back in a year or so turn it on and it will work in orange but I will go to my favorite warm light I like warm light so what can you use this lights for well no I mean you can but you can also work at your workbench at your workshop and it is nice but besides working at your workbench you can also do some vertical shots for anything like you need to shoot vertically and for overhead it looks like this and if you say well it's not looking too good let's add some backdrop first and it looks much better and if you want to review something such as this candle here we go a candle mm, awesome or even this lens and it looks pretty good and with RGB lights you can just go crazy and do whatever you want So in short I really like that little light if you can call it little for sure because it's like three foot long light yeah it's not little but anyway it's inexpensive and it provides some good value especially if you are filming something because you can buy anything literally for your workbench uh, as an overhead light and it will work perfectly well but if you are filming at the same time or you are going to film you better to think about what you are choosing and it should not stroll because it can definitely ruin your footage and this little thing shouldn't ruin your footage because it's not strobing so if I don't find anything else that is ruining my footage I would call it a good thing so yeah I just found some cool stuff at Home Depot and sharing so yeah, if you like this video or dislike this video, there are two buttons down below. Um, and thank you for your time, I guess. See you around.